The FAA has yet again refused to issue a launch license for the Starship and the decision could cause the US to lose the space race. In a new era where countless countries are actively engaged in trying to achieve dominance in space, the US is lagging behind due to regulatory hurdles and developmental failures. The Starship remains the only hope, but constant delays in its launch may derail any chances of success. Let's talk about why the FAA is so hesitant to issue SpaceX a launch license and the disastrous implications it could have on the future of space exploration. SpaceX is already preparing for its second orbital launch of Starship, a mere four months after the groundbreaking first launch. This rapid pace of development is quite remarkable in the space industry, which typically involves extensive planning and prolonged testing phases. What makes this even more intriguing is the striking difference between SpaceX and its competitors, like Blue Origin. Despite Blue Origin promoting their new Glenn rocket as a potential competitor to Starship, they have not yet conducted a single public test, while SpaceX is actively moving forward with their ambitious goals. SpaceX's strategy appears to be centered around a rapid development approach, testing quickly, learning from failures, and striving for fast achievements. However, in recent months, SpaceX has encountered a range of challenges, with one of the most significant being its interactions with the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. Elon Musk, SpaceX's CEO, responded to these challenges with an optimistic outlook, hinting at an upcoming Starship launch. He expressed this optimism, and it was accompanied by captivating visuals that showcased the colossal Starship rocket prototype in transit. The inaugural flight of Starship on April 20th, 2023, marked a historic moment in space exploration. Despite the flight ending in a dramatic explosion, the space community recognized the significant potential of this spacecraft. During the launch, SpaceX decided to activate a self-destruct command, leading to the destruction of the Starship over the Gulf of Mexico just minutes after launch. However, the explosion was not seen as a failure, but rather as a step in the ongoing refinement process of Starship. However, this dramatic incident prompted an intensified investigation by the Federal Aviation Administration. After months of thorough data analysis, SpaceX has now presented a report that outlines the specifics of the ill-fated launch. While the contents of this report remain confidential, it is anticipated that it will provide valuable insights into the corrective measures that SpaceX intends to undertake to ensure the safety and success of future launches. The FAA's role in this incident is far from minimal. The aftermath of the explosion resulted in concrete and metal debris scattered over a vast area, covering around 385 acres. Given the significant safety and environmental concerns arising from this situation, the FAA took decisive action by temporarily suspending Starship's operations. They are currently working on compiling an actionable list of requirements that SpaceX must meet to obtain approval for future launches. It's important to highlight that this isn't the first instance of the FAA and SpaceX encountering disagreements. Many recall the numerous delays that beset the initial Starship launch attempt, with regulatory challenges being a notable factor in these setbacks. Rumors were circulating that SpaceX was targeting an August 31st launch date, contingent on receiving approval from the FAA. The August 31st launch date became public knowledge when SpaceX officially notified the US Coast Guard of their scheduled launch on that day. Informing the Coast Guard is a standard protocol before significant launches, and it serves two primary purposes. First, it confirms the planned launch date, helping to coordinate activities and resources. Second, and equally important, it ensures maritime safety. By alerting nearby ships to the upcoming rocket launch, potential hazards associated with the rocket's takeoff are communicated, thus safeguarding maritime operations in the vicinity. However, that date has now come and gone, and we are yet to see the Starship take to the skies again. Regardless of when the launch eventually takes place, Elon Musk maintains a cautious yet optimistic outlook on the upcoming venture. He stated, I think the probability of this next flight getting to orbit is much higher than the last one, maybe it's like 60%. It depends on how well we do at stage separation. Musk's projection for the second launch represents a notable 10% increase in confidence compared to his earlier estimation for the first Starship launch. It's worth noting that Musk had initially predicted a 50% success rate for the first Starship flight, a prediction that unfortunately culminated in the rocket's explosion. Musk's newfound optimism is closely tied to the implementation of more than 1,000 design alterations to the Starship vehicle. One of the most significant changes was the adoption of hot staging. In the original design protocol for Starship, after thrusting above the lower atmosphere, the booster's 33 engines were programmed to shut down. Following this, the upper stage would separate from the booster, ignite its six engines, and begin its ascent toward its orbital altitude. In its second test, SpaceX is opting for a different approach. The company intends to employ the hot staging technique, which involves a separation method where the second stage engines of Starship ignite, pushing the spacecraft away from its still operating booster. Elon Musk shared images of this upgrade on the X social media platform, highlighting the significance of the interstage extension for hot gas venting. Hot staging has become a prominent topic of discussion in the space community, and it emerged as a necessary solution. Following the April 20th launch, difficulties were encountered in separating the Starship from its booster, resulting in a chaotic situation. 
Hot staging was introduced to address these challenges, making Starship's operations more streamlined. Additionally, it brings about a substantial improvement in payload capacity, increasing it by an impressive 10%. Amidst all the significant activities occurring at the Starbase facility, there was a recent development involving the Super Heavy Booster 9 prototype. It was relocated to the launch site, primarily for additional pre-flight testing. This decision followed a half-completed static fire attempt on August 6th, prompting SpaceX to take further measures to ensure the booster's readiness for upcoming missions. The initial test on August 6th encountered difficulties as four of the booster's engines ceased functioning prematurely. Consequently, SpaceX had to halt the test and shut down all the other engines. While the exact cause of this issue hasn't been officially disclosed, speculation suggests that it could be related to equipment on the ground or potential issues with the rocket itself. Following this setback, Booster 9 underwent extensive modifications back at the Mega Bay, where it was meticulously refined in preparation for its upcoming mission. These modifications included the addition of new parts and a thorough inspection to ensure everything was functioning correctly. Some of these changes were relatively minor, such as adding covers, while others were more complex and involved, ensuring that the rocket would seamlessly integrate with the equipment at the launch site, thereby enhancing its overall performance and reliability. As a positive outcome of these modifications, SpaceX achieved success in the second static fire test of Booster 9 on August 25th. According to SpaceX, all 33 engines were successfully ignited, even though two of them shut down prematurely during the test. However, the engines burned for approximately six seconds, which aligns with the planned duration. While SpaceX did not explicitly mention whether this performance met the criteria for proceeding with a launch attempt, it was an improvement over an earlier test of the same booster that took place on August 6th. SpaceX has long been a leader in space innovation, achieving notable successes with rockets such as the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. However, the company is now directing its efforts toward the Starship as a potential game-changer in the space industry. Despite their impressive track record with rockets, SpaceX has chosen to allocate substantial resources to the development of Starship. This decision stems from their overarching vision of advancing space exploration and their recognition of the competitive dynamics within the space race. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of competition in the field of space exploration on a global scale. Many countries have significantly bolstered their space programs, launching missions to destinations like the Moon, Mars, and even more distant reaches of our solar system. As an example, India recently achieved a noteworthy milestone by becoming the first country to successfully land a mission on the South Pole of the Moon. Amidst this evolving landscape, there has been a growing perception that the United States, once a leader in space exploration, has fallen behind. This shifting dynamic has sparked a renewed determination to pioneer new advancements in space technology. This is precisely where the Starship plays a pivotal role, as it represents SpaceX's ambitious endeavor to re-establish the US as a prominent force in space exploration and technology innovation. Starship, designed as the next generation deep space vehicle, has a primary mission of ferrying both humans and cargo to distant destinations like the Moon and Mars. What sets it apart from other rockets is its unique reusability concept. Both the main parts of Starship are designed to be used repeatedly. This innovative design not only represents a technological breakthrough, but also holds the promise of economic efficiency, opening the door to more frequent and affordable deep space excursions. When fully assembled, Starship reaches an impressive height of 394 feet, which is equivalent to over a 30-story building. This monumental spacecraft symbolizes SpaceX's and the United States' return to a prominent position in the fiercely competitive race of space exploration. It serves as a powerful statement to the world that, while other nations have made significant strides, the US remains in the game, continually innovating, exploring, and pushing the boundaries of what is achievable in the realm of space exploration. Many believe that the FAA's reluctance to issue SpaceX a launch license is having a significant impact on the Starship's development, and there is a real threat that the US may fall too far behind in the space race. However, there is also a valid argument to be made in favor of the authorities, as public and environmental safety must be considered. What do you think? Is the FAA right for withholding a launch license from SpaceX, or is it all needless bureaucracy that could cost the company dearly? Let us know in the comments below.